So in this video, we're going to do a full clean install of Windows 10. Um, if you checked out our previous video where I showed you how to create a Windows 10 USB key, that's what we're gonna be using here. Definitely check out our series of videos based on Windows 10 and our Windows 10 series here. So got a full legit key and we're gonna go ahead and hit next here and begin the installation process. So hit install now. Obviously before that you can choose languages and stuff like that if you need to. We're here in the US, I'm gonna use English in the United States. So let's go ahead, wait up, set up a starting. All right, here's where we're going to enter our product key. You can actually skip this if you want to and enter the product key later, which we're gonna go ahead and do. And that'll allow us to activate it at a later time. Going to go ahead and hit I accept the terms, hit next. So this upgrade and custom, we're gonna do a custom install. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and format this drive out because I had a previous installation on here, but I wanna delete everything on here. So I'm just gonna delete all the partitions and everything because I kind of want the system to basically recreate that, um, recreate these partitions specifically for Windows 10. So let's go ahead and click delete on all these. All right, there we go. Now I can hit new partition and just have it create one right there or if I want to create a specific size, I can do that. But instead I'm just gonna hit next and let it go through the process. It'll create all those partitions on its own. And we'll go ahead and go through the installation. It'll be copying Windows files down and such. So we're gonna go ahead and let it go through this process. We'll show you a couple of clips of that probably. And we'll go ahead and head to the next big step in our clean install of Windows 10. Okay, we got through the initial installation. It looks like it's asking us to enter the product key again. We'll just click do that later. And it's gonna ask get going fast. And it looks like we can choose between express settings or uh, customized settings here. We'll go ahead and customize here a little bit to see what they ask us here. Personalization, uh, pretty typical stuff. Nothing too out of the ordinary. Hit us with that just a moment. All right, who owns this uh, PC? You wanna click on I own it if you're doing it for home, if you're doing it for my organization, like if you're setting up on a business or corporate network, you probably wanna choose my organization. So let's click I own it. This will probably determine if it asks you for a Microsoft account or not. I'm pretty sure that'll probably be the next screen. Yep, the Microsoft account here. So we'll go ahead and enter that in and get that going and then uh, we'll just come right back here in just a second. Okay, looks like the next thing they ask here in this clean setup here is if we want to use a pin to log us in and set up a password. Oh, interesting here, let's go ahead and set a pin. All right, I'll just go ahead and type that pin in and get right back to you guys in a second here. I'm not sure how many digits it'll be, but we'll see. All right, the next screen here after setting up the pin here is well, me Cortana. Looks like she's gonna wanna be our new digital assistant. She's already ready to work with us before we even in Windows yet. Let's go ahead and kick, look, click next here and see what happens. Oh, hi. We're setting things up for you. So, all right, it looks like it's gonna be setting everything up in the background, getting our account ready to go and such. So we'll go ahead and let it do setting up our apps and all those things. You've seen that in Windows 8. Looks the same pretty much in Windows 10. And we'll get back to you guys once we're inside and logged in. Okay, folks, looks like we're activated here in a very stretched out window on here, obviously. Um, I don't have everything fully set up here, but as you can see here, we are in Windows 10. Just to verify for you here, we are activated as well too with this clean install. I already threw the key in there, so we're good to go. And um, you can see here, I have a lot of drivers in such to install. So we've got a few different things here to get everything set up. So let me go ahead and jump onto that. But that is how to do a clean install of Windows 10, basically how it's going to look when you do a clean install of Windows 10 fully. So that's pretty much it here. I'm hoping Microsoft will eventually fix sort of the key issue. I was talking about my big problems and issues and eventually give people that have Windows 8 upgrade keys, at least have the key to activate to do a clean install without having to do an upgrade first. But simply put, this is the way to do it and this is how a clean install looks. So this is Bowman here from BW1. I want to thank you guys for watching and always remember to live your tech world in high definition.